he will not empower a man that has not passed the test of waiting. I waited. I waited with 200 members. My colleagues on campus that knew the potential of my ministry and the teaching grace that I carried on campus. When they pass by and see me struggling for 14 years with 250 members, they say, this one chose to waste. Many of them left. We were all called to be in that city. They left that place and said it was a village. And they went to look for greener pastures. Meanwhile, in that adventure, they broke covenant with their pastor. I stayed. I stayed. Even when I got employment in the oil industry, I did not move my family. I went alone. Through all the postings, I went alone. And for 11 years, I was not at home. That's why this woman, she's not perfect. If she's not there, I will not follow any woman. At some point, you will go beyond the beauty. It's the ability to keep covenant that is the currency that, oh my, you don't understand. At some point, you will go beyond the talk, the one that they show on Facebook. Oh, it will become the capacity to survive. For seven years straight, demons were arrayed against us. And I don't want, I don't need to tell you the details. How we lost our child. And Jesus was still loved. Some people ask this, this question. Where were you, Lord? He was on his throne. He was on his throne. His location didn't change. Can you wait? Can you wait? For 11 years, I was not happy. And the reason why I, 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 if I had traveled with the family, the people I was pastoring would say, I have left them. So I left them behind. So when they wake up, they will see my wife and say, okay, he has not left us. He still with us. For 11 years. 11. I spoke in tongues again. I used to do eight hours in tongues per day so that I would be saved. The wine I drank that made me normal was eight hours of tongues. Woo, those were the days when they were constructing that or really my two Abu Lebaru. I was one of the first functionaries that operated as a regulator in the depots in satellites. So when I'm going, it takes four hours to get to that country. And God didn't allow me to buy a car. Even though I could buy one car every month for my monthly salary. Half of my salary could pay my annual rent in Surugu. Half of my So I was in that hold-up. I used the hold-up. That means I would pray four hours to go to work and pray four hours to come back home. I did that for seven days. Waiting. Waiting. I was taking root down there. Oh. A time came where, what you call prophetic, eh? that's where I live. Oh. That's where I live. When you took us up, the it opened. I can start telling people things. I can do that. It's just that he didn't say I should do it. I can, if you do that thing that you did now, I can start telling people what God is saying throughout this whole thing. There are not many. I prayed eight hours a day to be saved so that I will defeat that voice in my head pushing me to do something. Someone needs to repent. I'm preaching to someone. You left the place that Jesus put you. The affliction that you are suffering today is because you left. Jesus had a mighty thing going on in your life that was supposed to produce results in seven years, but you could not wait. You were in a hurry. 
you took off like a tornado, you exposed yourself. Today you are trying to gather yourself, but the sound is no longer there. One day I was going to walk, then he spoke to me. He said, your time in the wilderness is accomplished. You will receive a posting. He told me that 7 a.m. in the morning, 9 a.m., the notice of my posting came out. That was how I was posted from Lagos. I was posted to the northeast. Those were the days where that my eight hour prayer I used to do on the road. There was no work there. So I, if you go to work for one hour, you have finished the day's work. I was doing the eight hours of my bed. My bed became a highway from heaven to earth. That discipline I had maintained was now going to turn into spiritual profit. It takes time for you to gain mastery of spiritual things. If God doesn't bring you into captivity, you will never travel far enough to arrive where he's expecting you. Oh, I saw strange visions in the night. Strange things. In the office in the morning, you will see me with house cap. You will not know that I'm an over, undercover. That I transverse those places in the spirit. I saw the stronghold of the land. <laughs> I saw the demons that operate there. That was when my eyes began to open to territorial things. It took three, eight years, seven years of drilling downward before I hit the aquifer. If God were to reveal to you that you need eight years of drilling, you will quit. So he will not tell you. You will just arrive at the wilderness and you will be, you will be arrested. If you honor God in your heart, there will be options of how you can free yourself from that prison that will come to you, but it will not come from God. And you don't know how long you will wait. You know, I told you, it is not for you to know the times and the seasons which God has ordained in his own authority. But ye shall receive power. It was there in the northeast I got power for the nations. Who goes to a place where people are running from? I know how many of my superiors called me and said, what's going on? What are you going to do there? They did not know that apart from the job we were doing, I was a messenger. I was there for another four years, six months. That was when the great one said, turn in your resignation. I will send you to the nations. I don't want to tell you the details, what happened on the flip side. The people like gave prophetic words that it came to pass. I'm talking about on the national level of nations. A dealing you will go through that when you see money, you know money is not. Have you left the wilderness? Because it was the Holy Spirit that led him into the wilderness to be tempted of the devil. I came with a sound in my spirit. And that's what I'm trying to make you hear. The sound says, return, return. Return, return. Return, return. I preach to those that left their estate in search of what is not lost because they could not submit to the disciplines of God. He says, return, return. Return, return. The Bible says that the angels that left their estate has he kept in chains. He kept in, chain, in the chains of darkness. They left their designation. They left their estate. They left their habitation. 
there was no place left for them than the chains of darkness. Return, return. The Lord says, I shall cry. Return, return. Return. When you veered off because there was little pressure and you felt it was wisdom for you to choose the alternatives that were coming your way, you didn't know that it was a spirit in the wilderness that was trying your devotion to your God. Return, return. Return. I stayed. I stayed for 11 years. Those 11 years, I was not, I, it, I was not behind the camera. I stayed. There was no encouragement that came from God. It was even difficult to hear the voice of God. But I knew that this was where he would have me stay. There are dealings that God will bring onto his jewels for the next generation. You know what? It's too late now. If Satan says he wants to take me, it's too late. It's too late. It's too late. He would have taken me before. He would have cut me off before. But now, it's too late. He came late. Because I found strength in the Holy Ghost. Yes, I know when he rises. I know when he stretches forth his hands. I know when he's in a rage. I know when he wants to kill. And when he wants to make a life. Return, return. I came to cry to him. Somebody left his place. And began to chase vanity. For the past five years, your life has made no meaning. It has struck no chord in heaven. If you continue like this, in at old age, you will know you wasted your days. Return, return. 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 All my friends that took off like a tornado. Ah. He kept them in prison till today. Many died. When you live a consecrated life like that, it's only God that can give you friends. No. Only God. Only God. Don't try to make friends. You will be lonely and you will be drinking his presence and get used to his presence for a long time before he now gives you friends. If you have more than six, when you are fully matured in your calling, it means you are lucky. You see, I see a cherub. A cherub like, oh my God, rising. You see, this cherub was supposed to be the glory. Covering a certain sister at this time. But she was displaced from where God will have her stay. Return, return. Return. I know you don't believe me. But before we are done today, you will, you will know that I speak by the mouth of God. They've sent death to me. When death came, the glory was so intense. I saw death move backward twice. I saw it. I saw it. Move backward twice. Return, return. In a moment of time, we are praying. And we are praying and providing support for everyone that left his estate. Everyone that began to run the rat race in search of vanity. In search of that which is not lost. Because they felt that the conditions under which God will have them go through in the wilderness. They were not designed for it. They broke covenant with their king. In order for them to look for that which is not lost. Lord, I want to go the length with you. I want to travel all the way with you. I want to go through the journeys of the anointed and to lay hold on the scepter of power. I want to be that voice that will speak and cry in the wilderness like John the Baptist. Prepare ye the way of God. Rossi se mende ne kobosa. Aika